Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial which shows you how to create a multi-layered wall assembly in the program Opaque. First, you will notice that the interface looks similar to Climate Consultant. This software is made by the same building science group at UCLA. Today, we're going to be creating a new project, and you can either select to continue a previous project you've been working on, or open to saved project file. First, we're going to hit start a new project and hit next. Here, you can change your project name. I'm going to call it Opaque Test 1. I can change my units to either Imperial or Metric. And I can upload different materials from databases online and know that selecting PCM database means selecting different phase change materials, if you would like. So I'm going to hit Next. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select the climate zone for the project. You can either select a California climate zone, or you can be more specific by selecting an Energy Plus EPW weather file, which can be attained from online weather, weather Energy Plus website. If you're selecting a California climate zone, you can search by the zip code, or you can select the zone. And I know I'm going to be selecting our site in San Luis Obispo, California, which is climate zone 5. So I'm going to hit open file. And here, we can. this is the location where we can test multiple different assembly designs. So I'm going to call this Scheme 1. If you had multiple schemes, you could choose, you could name your different schemes here. And you could even select if you want this to be a wall or a roof. And you can change the orientation, the tilt, the absorptivity, and adjacent ground reflectance. For now, we're just going to leave this all as default and hit Next. So now we are in the section builder window. Notice that the inside air film right here is the first thing on our list. And this is a hint that we will be building the layers from inside to outside. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our first layer. So here, this interface works like this. You have your different materials here. You click the add button to add it here. And you can change the relative thickness of each material. As this works, we can see the R value per inch of thickness, the thickness itself, and the R value of that material total. Here you could see the section properties, the total R value, the total U value, and some other information that we'll talk about a little bit later. So we're going to start by adding our gypsum board or our drywall. So I'm going to select that here, and then I'm going to click that and hit Add. And remember, if I wanted to change my thickness to, let's say, 1 inch, I could click that and say Update. But right now, I'm going to leave it as 0.625 and hit update. So once I have my gypsum board, the next thing I'm going to do is add my wooden studs. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and hit studs wood and click add. So when I choose wood studs, there's a lot of different options that I'll have to consider. So first of all, I want to know what my framing size is, so the size of the materials I'll be using. It's standard in California to use 2x6s. And it's usually spaced 16 inches on center, so I'll leave that the same. This is just giving you the percentage of the assembly that the wood is taking up. So I'm going to leave that as 25% because I'm using 16 inches on center. And then the last thing I'm going to decide is this infill insulation. So these are the different ways that you can lay out the insulation within the wall. I'm going to select this one so that it's taking up the whole cavity between the studs. And the final thing I'm going to select is the type of insulation between the framing. I'm going to select my bat insulation because that's most typical today. So I'm going to hit OK. And what you can start to see is I have my R value per inch, my thickness, and my total R value of that material. So you can see here we're starting to create a 3D version, 3D axonometric, of what this detail or this wall assembly would look like. So let's keep going to finish it up. So now that I've added my studs and my insulation, the next thing I'm going to add is my plywood. So I'm going to scroll up here into building board and select plywood and click add. And I'm going to change this to one inch. So I'm going to say 1.0 and click update. And you can see the R value per inch changed. It stayed the same, but the thickness changed to one inch and the total R value of that material changed. And you can see as we've been going along, the total R value and the total U value have been adjusting with the different materials we've been adding. So the last thing I'm going to add, or the second to last thing I'm going to add, is I'm going to add 
my building paper permeable felt, which will go under our stucco. So I'm going to add that, which you can see has almost no thickness and a tiny bit of an R value. And the last thing I'm going to add is my stucco. So I'm going to click stucco and add. So now I've finished my wall assembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click finish and it's going to bring up this option that's basically confirming that you're done with your assembly. So this is going to add an air outside air film, which is going to add a little bit of a change in the total R value. So I'm going to click yes. So now here in this interface, you can click and hold your mouse key to move around this thing, just like a CAD file. Here on the left side, we have the the orientation and the tilt, but most importantly, we have our total thickness, so it's eight inches thick, 8.6 inches thick, our total R value and our total U value, which are very important in determining the thermal control that this wall assembly provides. Here I can see my different materials and how they go together. And again, if I wanted to, I can go back and I can edit my section. Last few things that are really important to know, I can view this either as an axonometric or as a section view. And if I'm viewing this as a section view, this is showing the temperature within the wall assembly at different times of the year. And then again, if I go back to my axonometric, I can view this as a cutaway so that I can understand the different parts of the wall assembly and how they're put together. So let's go into this section view. I can even view this as an animation. So I can hit start and this is gonna change and change by the time of day what temperature is happening or what temperature is occurring at each point in the wall. So that's really nifty. And this kind of, this whole program is really helping you to determine your total R value and your total U value and what makes the biggest difference or what changes that within your wall. So now that we've understood opaque, I hope you enjoy using this program. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.